welcome back to horror movie month and before i get into this review i just want to say that you guys may have noticed that my username has officially gotten back the hacking situation is over thank you guys so much for supporting me in particular my subscribers i love every single one of you so thank you for watching and subscribing and commenting on no matter what i post because I'll always be posting this content. And you guys supported me throughout the situation. I have to, And I appreciate you guys. But thank you guys so much. But anyway, let's get started talking about our next movie I will be reviewing for Horror Movie Month. The Lost Boys. The Lost Boys came out in 1987. And in this film, the story revolves around two boys. One's older than the other. And the older one encounters a group of edgy and thuggish teenagers who have some suspicions and later on dark and terrible truths are revealed about these teenagers when these two boys find out that they're dealing with vampires the lost boys is a horror film that's one of a kind honestly i don't really think you could ever recreate a film like the lost boys it really is a special horror film. This film throws many things at you with its comedy and its humor and its suspense and tension and performances. The performances across the board are absolutely phenomenal and you can connect and relate to every single character that's in this film and it's because of the writing. The writing is really clever and it's pretty funny too. And that's what makes The Lost Boys such a memorable film. It's not just a vampire film that you can enjoy because of its gore and great characters. This film is honestly kind of funny at times. And it's supposed to be because this film is technically classified as a horror comedy. The Lost Boys is probably the best vampire movie I've ever seen. Aside from other vampire films like Fright Night, which is... A very effective vampire film. The Lost Boys is probably the ultimate vampire film in my viewing. This film is really that good. One interesting and unique thing that makes this film special though is, is that it's it's very different. It doesn't feel like you're watching a vampire film and that's what I love about it. It doesn't deliver that typical you know iconic vampire feeling to it. This movie sucks you into its world before going into the straight horror and action stuff. And before we go into that, we get to see this group and know each and every one of them. And especially the two brothers, we get to know their lives in their home. And we really do care for these two brothers because they're struggling on what's going on with them something's attacking the family and they don't they have no idea what's going on by the way let's talk about the two pa brothers J jason patrick and Corey haim both play mike and sam really really good in this movie i really think that they really did a great job in this film and they were very very talented and by the way rest in peace Corey haim very very sad very sad especially if you know about this kid's backstory it's even more sad which i'm not going to explain it in this review but rest in peace you will be heavy heavenly missed i really do think that <laughs> jason and Corey really did carry this entire film they were both the real two stars in this film aside from the group of the vampires these two characters were the stars in this film and they really did carry this entire film they kept it running and it was so much fun to watch these two characters interact with each other as they're going through these terrible situations with these vampires. I really do got to talk about Kiefer Sutherland because he, aside from Jason and Corey, he is another reason why this film really holds up really well. He is so creepy as David and he really does keep the audience on edge and... He's one of those characters that make you think twice before you should hang out with people like this. Like, you could, e you're, you could even watch The Little Lost Boys and be like, Michael, why the heck are you hanging out with, this, with these kind of people? I gotta be completely honest when I say this, though. All of the actors in the group of vampires really do a phenomenal job. But Kiefer Sutherland really 
he really does take control and he knocks the performance right out of the park. I'm serious, Kiefer Sutherland really does an excellent job in this film. Another thing that this film is really good at is delivering the feeling of mystery and slight suspicions and making you feel a little uncomfortable. Even though you, you watch The Lost Boys for the first time, you could probably already predict who the vampires are, but watching our characters through these situations and they have no idea what's going on, it really does make you feel for our characters. And all they want is answers. And once they do get answers, they realize that they have to go after the vampires themselves. Or else they're gonna come after them. I also really gotta talk about the practical effects that were used for the makeup of the vampires. Really excellent. I really do think that they still hold up very well today. And they're very creepy. And sinister. And when I look at them today, I still get chills down my spine. It's really well done. And it was very important that this film had to rely on practical effects and not go the CGI route. Because honestly, if this film went the CGI route, the whole thing probably would have failed. Thank God it didn't, because this film still holds up surprisingly well today. I also really do love the off-screen deaths. Like, there's certain shots that are filmed in The Lost Boys where a cam the camera just zooms into a person, and then the person begins to scream. It makes it more anonymous a little bit, and creepy, and a, a little bit eerie. I honestly thought that was really genius, especially for 80s film, and it was effective. Honestly though, there are a lot of things that can be said about films like The Lost Boys. It's a very effective horror film, a very effective co horror comedy. It's one of the best vampire movies, really. I, I mean, can you really think of others? I mean, you could probably name a few others like Dracula or Fright Night. No, Twilight does not count. Seriously though, The Lost Boys is a film that's one of a kind. I have to say that really the only flaw that I can think about this movie is the twist. The, the subplot, really the twist. It really doesn't hold up that well if you really think about it. And if you guys have seen the movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know, the man who hits on Michael's mother, who always, like, you know, takes takes him out to dates and stuff like that he is apparently the father of the boys who are vampires and that's not revealed until the third act of the film where stuff really happened and action and horror stuff really happened i honestly think that that plot twist doesn't really hold up it's kind of silly still though the makeup effects were phenomenal i still love the makeup effects other than that, The Lost Boys is a great time. It definitely is a horror comedy film that's one of a kind and a horror film that's one of a kind in general. And this is a very important movie to me. I really do love this movie. And if you guys really seriously haven't seen this movie, check it out, please. Because this film has been held as a classic for decades, really. And I'm pretty sure it's going to stay that way. And who knows, it may inspire many people to make horror films. I'm going to give The Lost Boys an A. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this review. You guys are the best. Love every single one of you. Look forward to more reviews that will be coming very soon. In particular, I have another review that I will be uploading today. Since today is Friday the 13th, you probably just noticed that, I'm going to be uploading a review of the Friday the 13th reboot. Cannot wait to tell you about my thoughts on that movie. Anyway, um, you guys are the best. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love every single one of you. Look forward to more reviews that will be coming very soon. And as always, if you're new here and you like what you see here, why not hit that subscribe button to join the Eli B slash 520 community. And I will see you next time. Peace out.